If you ask some mathematicians uh, what's the value of zero to the zero, they will tell you that it is one, especially people in set theory and analysis and combinatorics. Many of them think that zero to the zero is equal to one. Why? They say so because they have a combinatorial explanation or a set theory explanation of x to the y in mind. Take x and y to be non-negative integers. Then we define x to the y to be the number of functions from a set with y elements to a set with x elements. Uh, why does that match our intuition of x to the y? Because if you have y elements and x elements, the number of functions will be determined by where the y elements go. And if for each element I have x possibilities for the image of that element, then there will be x to the y functions. So that agrees with x to the y. So what is 0 to the 0? Well, that will be the number of functions from a set with 0 elements to a set with 0 elements, so empty to empty. And uh, that is, in fact, 1. There is only one function from the empty set to the empty set. Why is that? Because of the definition of function. A function from x to y, from the set theory point of view, is a subset of x cross y, so pairs or tuples of elements of x and elements in y, such that for every element in x, there is exactly one element in y, which we call f of x, uh, such that the pair x f of x is in the set f. That is a function from the set theory point of view. So what is a function from the empty set to the empty set, and how many are there? Well, it has to be a set of pairs with one pair for each element of x. Since there are none, there are no pairs. But this is, in fact, a function. This empty set of pairs is a function, and it's the only possible function. So there's exactly one function from the empty set to the empty set, and therefore 0 to the 0 is 1. So, is 0 to the 0 equal to 1? Wait, hold on. First of all, x to the y equals this is a definition. We're defining x to the y in this way, and if we define it in this way, then yes, we agree that 0 to the 0 is 1. But, first of all, we have to define x to the y in this very restrictive way. This makes no sense when x is minus 1, when y is minus 1, when x is pi, when y is pi, etc. We are only able to use this definition in a very restrict, restricted setting. Moreover, moreover, and I think this is the key for me, the fact that there is exactly just one function from the empty set to the empty set relies heavily on this definition of what a function is. And to me, just to me, this definition of function makes no sense because if we consider this a function, this function is defined by no rule. Since there are no elements, I, have to not do, I don't have to say what the rule was ever. So I think it would actually make much more sense to define a function to require that a function has at least one order pair in the set so that I am actually saying something about what the rule f is that is sending elements of x to y. If I cannot even say anything about that rule, that should not be a function. So my condition to be a function is that the function, the subset of x cross y, has to have at least one element. It cannot be the empty set to be a function. That would say that this is not a function, and it would say that, in fact, there are zero functions from the empty set to the empty set, which would agree with the idea that zero to the zero is zero, just like zero to any other number is zero. There would be no functions from the empty set to anything. So, in summary, is zero to the zero equal to one? No, you can define it to be 1 if you are defining x to the y in this way and functions in that way, but even just a simple modification to your definitions, a common sense modification to force functions to take at least one value would give you a different definition of 0 to the 0 that does not agree with 0 to the 0 equals 1.